In a simple naive video call, we need to open ports. These ports are used in order to send and receive the media in that call. And if we try to count these ports, then we'll have four different independent RTP and RTCP connections for a call. We'll need to send the audio over RTP. We'll need the RTCP for the audio. This would be the control channel for sending the audio. And we'll need to do the same for video, an RTP port and an RTCP port for video. We send them separately, and then we link them again using the SSRC and the timestamps. SSRC is the originating source of the media, and the timestamp simply says when things are being sent from our local device. Why is that an issue, the fact that we now have four separate ports for a single video call? Well, first of all, the more connections we have, the more resources we're going to take on our machine. It's not much, not on the client side, but on the server, when we have hundreds or even thousands of such connections, multiplying them by four is not such a good thing to do. Then the more connections we have, the slower the setup time is going to be, because we need to set up each and every port with its own connection separately from the other. The more connections, the lower the success rate is going to be. Because again, instead of trying to connect one connection, one port, we're not, we are going to need to connect four of them. And if one of them fails, then the whole call failed. And we want to optimize the server resources, use less ports there. Now, this is how things were used to be before WebRTC. By default, we had four connections, as we've seen, two for audio and two for video, RTP and RTCP, one for each audio and video. This is now how we now do it. We do it slightly differently today and especially in WebRTC. WebRTC offers us two additional mechanisms to optimize for that. The first one is bundle. Using bundle, I can bundle the audio and the video over one RTP connection and then the RTCP gets bundled also together for the audio and the video. We can signal that over SDP by saying group bundle. We can do, go one step further with RTCP MOOCs. RTCP MOOCs is about multiplexing RTCP over RTP. We're going to use the same connection over the same port for the audio for both its RTP and RTCP data. And we can do the same for the video. And then we can do both at the same time. Use bundle and RTCP MOOCs to have a single connection where we bundle all of the RTP of the audio and the video okay, together on a one RTP connection and we multiplex RTCP on that connection as well. If you want to learn more about WebRTC, check out webrtcglossary.com and go look at my training courses at webrtccourse.com. Thank you.